NECA Toys has made some of my favorite figures recently. I mean, come on. A line of action figures based on NES video games like Friday the 13th and A Nightmare on Elm Street with the figures looking all crazy colored just like their video game counterparts? That's genius and an incredibly fun line of toys. And you know what? NECA's not stopping with these two. Oh no, there's a new one on the way and that's exactly what we're going to take a look at today. Say hello to Robocop, done in NES style. Let's check them out. Just like we saw with both Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees, the packaging that this brand new Robocop comes inside of is one of the best parts. As you can see, it's modeled to look exactly like the original box that housed the NES game. It features that cool Robocop graphic right there on the front with the real toys logo up there at the top and even the edges of the box appear as if they're worn out just like all of those classic NES boxes tend to do over time. The back of the packaging features a description and some images of the action figure within that all look exactly like the back of the original NES box. It's a fold flat box, so when you open that up, it reveals a window that fully showcases the action figure. And on the left hand side, we get a cool screenshot straight out of the video game. Even behind Robocop in the background there, we can see a shot right out of one of the levels. And underneath Robocop, we can see the indicators, the weapon, the functions, everything that you would see right on the video game screen. So taking a look at Robocop outside of the packaging, it's worth noting that this is the exact same Robocop that NECA released featuring the spring loaded gun holster on the side of his leg, which is awesome because that is absolutely one of the best versions of Robocop that NECA has produced. The major difference of course is the brand new paint job that is meant to resemble the way the character looked in 8-bit graphic form. Just like we saw with both Jason and Freddy, you can see it's a pretty wild color scheme. Instead of that kind of silvery blue color that Robocop was known for having in the movies, he's got this really funky dark blue and kind of metallic blue combination. And the way the paint job is done on there, it really does look exactly the way the 8-bit sprite looks in the video game. And the paint job on this one is really, really great. I love the goofy paint jobs we saw both Jason and Freddy sporting, but the Robocop one here is even more special. You can see that there is a mixture of kind of flat dark blues and sort of a metallic sparkly blue. So you've really got this great variance in color and he's got a really nice shine to him. Even the details on his face have some nice black wash going on, which give him almost this comic booky look. Now, since this is exactly the same as the Robocop figure we've already seen in the NECA wave, you may already know what to expect as far as articulation goes, but let's go ahead and check it out. The head's on a nice ball joint there so it can rotate all the way around and rock up and down. You got little ball joints at the shoulders there so the arms can go upwards, forwards, and backwards, though the shoulders do hinder the movement slightly. You got the standard joint in the elbow there so the arms can bend forward and backward, and you've got swivels at the wrist. You got nice torso there so you can rock the torso around as well as swivel them at the waist. You got good hinge joints at the thigh so the legs can go outwards and forwards and backwards, but again, the way they're shaped is going to hinder the movement slightly. You've got great joints at the knees there that are nice and tight, and really nice ankle joints that have those really sweet pistons on the back that also move up and down. So the articulation on this guy is very nice and exactly what we've come to expect from NECA's Robocop line. Now as far as his accessories go, this particular Robocop is missing the interchangeable hand with the data spike that we saw on the previous release, but he does still include his trusty gun. It can be held easily in his right hand, which does have a sculpted trigger finger so it holds onto it nicely. Plus, like I mentioned earlier, he's got that awesome spring-loaded holster in his right thigh. You'll notice that there's a small button sticking out of the back of his leg. If you press that button down, a little spring mechanism is going to open up the holster on the inside where you can place the gun. Once the gun is placed in there, it's pretty easy to close just by pressing the front thigh panel, which will snap together that little holster, ready for it to spring back open the next time you push the button. 
It's a really fun action feature that works very nicely. I was really happy when NECA incorporated this on their last Robocop figure, and even though this one here is just meant to be a new repaint, I'm still happy it's on there. So there you go guys, there's a look at the brand new 8-bit inspired Robocop from NECA Toys. This new NES line from NECA has been one of my favorite toy lines to collect within this last year. It's just such a fun idea getting action figures based on these wacky painted variations of these characters from the video games we grew up playing. I hope Robocop isn't where this license is going to stop. I would love seeing even more NES inspired characters on all of the different franchises that NECA is already producing figures on. We could easily see something from Rambo or Gremlins, and I say bring them on. The 8-bit Robocop will be available for purchase in February and can already be pre-ordered at online stores such as Big Bad Toy Store. So happy hunting, and until next time.